In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up the two different uh, Cuber 3D homepages. Um, so the first step is to install the Cuber plugin. Um, so to do that, you just click on plugins and add new. And then right over here in the search, you just want to type in WP Cuber and hit search. And you'll see it's the only option that appears. Uh, and then you just click install now and click OK. And it's just going to download and install the plugin for you. Okay, uh, successfully installed. Now we just want to click activate plugin. And, uh, and now that it's activated, you'll notice down here there's a new Cuber button. And this is where you'll go to set up uh, all your new sliders. Um, so you just open this. And the first thing we have to do is just add a few files to it so that it's going to work properly. So the first thing you want to do is click on setup. And then we're going to have to locate two different files, the cuber.swf and cuber.js. And uh, we provide both of these files for you in the download package. Uh, so when you download your files through uh, ThemeForest, you just want to unzip that and open up the folder. And you'll see within that folder, there's a 3D sliders folder. So you just open that up. And um, you'll see right here, we have eight different sliders that we provide for you, a couple of different you know, variations. Um, and then we also have the two, the two setup files that you need right here. Um, so we're just gonna go back to WordPress and we'll browse for this file. And again, you just locate the, the folder that you downloaded and go inside the 3D sliders folder and cuber.swf and then cuber.js within the same folder, open and save changes. Um, okay, so now, now the Cuber's uh, set up and now we just have to add our new sliders. Uh, so to add a new one, you just click on Cuber and add new. And you just want to give your, uh, your slider a name. So uh, just give it, give it, this name won't show up anywhere, it's just for your reference. Um, and then you just want to click browse. And uh, same thing, you just want to locate the Karma folder that you downloaded from ThemeForest. And then within that is a 3D sliders folder. And you'll see eight different uh, zip files. And these are the different um, pre-built sliders that we built for you. Um, so there's actually only two versions. It's full width and then the thumbnails version. Um, but basically, um, the differences are like the colors of the controls. So for instance, the full width dark, it has um, dark colored um, next and previous arrows. So if you were going to be using light colored images, then you would want to use the dark uh, slider so that you can see the controls nicely. And then um, the opposite is true for the light slider. It's going to have um, light colored controls. So if you're going to have a lot of dark images in your slider, then you're going to want to use the light uh, version so it's more usable for your users. Um, so you just choose whichever one you want and then just hit open. And then we're just going to hit add cuber. Okay, and uh, it brings you to the editing screen. Um, now to access this screen uh, next time with, without adding a Cuber, you just simply click Cuber and edit. And this page will list all your different sliders and it'll allow you to um, edit, duplicate, preview, or delete. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and edit. Um, okay, this first panel is the general settings. Uh, you're just gonna wanna leave the height and width as is, um, cause otherwise a few other, like the images and things won't line up correctly. Um, you don't have to worry about these. Um, now the background, it's, it's set to be transparent by default. You can also have a background color. Um, you just have to be careful because if you set a color, certain web browsers, the drop-down navigation will get hidden behind the slider. So transparent is needed for most um, browsers. So we just recommend using transparent. Um, and then this is the alternate content. So if the user doesn't have Flash installed, this is the content that will get displayed. Um, so if you want to insert custom HTML in there, you can. Um, it comes with this by default. So any changes that you make, you just hit save changes. And I'm just going to close this tab. Uh, now the default slide and transition settings. Um, pretty much a lot of the stuff on the left you can kind of leave alone um, unless you want to change the duration. So this is how long um, each slide will stay up by default before it switches. So you can change that if you want. Um, and then over here, these are all the different uh, settings. So this is kind of the overall global settings and you can, you can specify um, new settings on a per slide basis down here. But anytime you add a new slide, it'll take on these default settings. Um, so we'll just kind of go through. So columns and rows, columns go left and right, rows go up and down. So when the image gets sliced up, this is um, however many columns and rows you want. Um, 
this uh, then the flip angle um, you can 180 or 90 we just recommend leaving it at 180 uh, the flip order you can um, you can choose like the order of the animation so you can kind of just play around with that and to get the desired effect uh, flip from center whether or not the animation starts from the center of the cube or not um, the flip direction again just which whatever direction that it's gonna flip uh, that it's gonna animate um, so you can kind of play around with those you can have them all checked you can have you know however many checked that you want and that'll kind of um, you know it'll give you different results each time um, the flip color um, when the when the cube animates sometimes you see the corner edges of the uh, cube kind of like the inside of the cube and this is the color of the inside of the cube so whatever color you want that to be um, <clears throat> Then the thickness, that's the uh, thickness of the, uh, of the cube itself. So you can have a you know, big, big thick cube if you want or, or a thin cube. So you can just kind of adjust that number based on your needs. Uh, the flip depth, this is how, um, how far back from the screen it'll animate um, when, it, when it's doing its animation. So however far back you want it, you just add a higher number. Um, then you can choose your easing. There's a couple of different styles for easing, so that'll change the animation effect. Um, then the duration, delay, and randomize. So you can just adjust those numbers to your liking um, and save changes. And we're just going to close this little tab. And down here, these are all the different slides. Um, so if you want to reorganize slides, you just simply drag and drop, uh, drag and drop the slides into place. Um, so it's very similar to like the WordPress menus feature. Um, <clears throat> and if you want to duplicate a slide, you just hit this duplicate button. And you'll see that it adds this new slide down to bottom, um, and then you can edit your slides, uh, you know, individually. So if you wanted to change the image, you just hit change, um, and we're going to go to our media library, and we'll sh we'll show one of these, um, <clears throat> and then you would just uh, insert into post. So uh, you know, and then you can also upload a new image right from there. Um, the duration again, this is how long the slide will stay up. So you can you can modify that. Um, all these settings are the same as the ones that we just went over. Um, the ones that we just went over, they were the default kind of global settings. So if you add a new slide, it'll take on those settings and you can overwrite uh, those settings um, on a per slide basis. Um, if you want to add text to your Cuber, you can simply, you can do that right here. So it has heading text and paragraph text. Um, so we're just going to grab some, some fill, filler text for now and we'll just put some text in there. Um, <clears throat> All right, and uh, and that's about it. And then you, every time you're, you know, whenever you're done, you just want to scroll down and save changes. Um, you know, and now your your slider is uh, is all saved. Um, and now you just have to create the actual uh, page. So we're going to create a, a home page. So we're going to click on pages, and we already have a home page. So we're just going to edit this page. And um, <clears throat> for there's two different page templates for the 3D slider. The first one, um, you're going to actually insert the slider into the actual page, and the other one's going to be controlled in the custom options panel. So we'll show you the first version. Um, so the first version, you just want to use um, just the full width home page. So you just choose home page full width. And uh, we recommend adding the content first because sometimes um, the visual editor gets kind of a little buggy with the, with the cuber. Um, short code. So you just want to insert your content first. Um, just kind of get the placeholders in place and then add your slider. Uh, so we're going to click on the short code manager. And from the drop down list, we're going to choose uh, the four column plus modern images and insert. And this will insert our, our kind of default uh, page content. And then we're just going to click uh, up at the top and hit return. And then um, right up top here, this is where we want to insert our slider. Uh, so right over here, we just click uh, this drop down next to the Cuber button and insert Cuber into post. And then this will list all your sliders and you just simply hit insert. And we're going to go ahead and update. And if we go ahead and view page, you'll see that our slider is loading right here. And we also have our uh, content that we added below. Um, so, you know, it's very straightforward and you can you can add sliders um, throughout your whole entire site. So you just have to use a full width uh, page template. Um, now, the other version is the uh, is the kind of the taller banner cuber page. Um, and this and this other version, you don't want to actually insert the cuber right in here. So we're going to delete this and we're just going to leave our content in there. And for the page template, we're going to choose um, <clears throat> home page 3D. So we're going to choose that and hit update. 
Um, and now in the back end settings, we have to just go and tell uh, Karma the, the ID number of our Cuber slider. Um, so to find out that ID number, you can find it in a couple places. So if you're already on the page editing screen, you can just click uh, insert Cuber into post. And right over here, you'll see that it gives you an ID number. Um, so we're actually just going to make note of this number. We're not going to actually insert this. So the ID number is one. So we're just going to close the window. Uh, the other place where you can find it is on the editing screen. So you just hit Cuber and edit. And again, this will list all your different sliders and you just have to, you just want to make note of the ID number. Um, so once you have that number, then you click on appearance and site options. Um, and then you go ahead and click on homepage settings. And if you scroll down, you'll see right down here, this Cuber slider ID number. And this is where you're just going to enter the ID number that, uh, that you no took note of. Um, in our case, it already is, it's one. So we're just going to keep it at one and save changes. And now if we come back here and refresh, you'll see that it takes on the new uh, page template and it has the new uh, Cuber slider in there. Um, so that's about it. Uh, we hope this video was helpful and please stay tuned.